Hello, this video is an overview of the texture printing tool in CrackArt. CrackArt is an open source 3D texturing application and we are going to use it to paint this 3D model. We're going to load this 3D object which already has a UV, mapping, UV mapping applied. This UV channel has no overlapping faces and all the faces are contained in the texture space. <coughs> I'm going to start by loading the 3D model and applying a subdivide modifier to it. Now let's go to the tools page and add a new texture painting session and we click our object and create a new channel. Okay, now let's change the shading mode to textured and we are ready to start painting. This is our draw tool, we can use it to draw lines and brush strokes. We can change the color, we can increase or decrease the size of the stroke. We can use tools like Jitter to add some more noise to it, or Fade to paint just a few pixels. We can also change the pressure. or we can play with the airbrush too. We also have an erase tool. Uh, we have a blur tool. There is also a smudge tool. this much we can use we can combine it with paint smudge paint so we can paint using this much tool it applies a little brush stroke before smudging we have also a clone tool which clones in 3d finally we have a bucket to tool that we can use to fill sections or, or to fill different areas of, of our object. We can use also a pattern to paint. This is a bitmap that we load in our object. So I'm going to load this bricks texture, this bricks bitmap, and now we can use it to paint. But as you can see here, this, this bitmap is not tileable, so we, we see some seams here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna load a uh, noise texture to our, for our object. So I go to the materials page and click the, the pattern texture and I set, I create a new pattern. I'm going to change the color here. Okay, so let's render this object to see how it looks. The, the part texture goes straight to the renderer, so we can preview it. Okay, this is good. So I'm gonna use this texture to paint now this new pattern bitmap. Oh, first I have to bake it. So I have to select the object and bake the new texture. So this creates the bitmap that we can use to paint. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill this whole canvas layer with our image, with our new pattern, so I'm going to fill canvas bitmap and I'm going to use, I'm going to change here the pattern, the color to black, the blending mode I'm going to change into multiply with a 
low value this is good now let's undo that and add some some jitter what I'm I want to do is I'm gonna have I want to have some more like noise in this image I want to have some more noise in this background image so I'm gonna change to divide okay this is good so now I'm gonna move this uh, rocky texture to the background so I can damage it when I paint let's change the so now if I paint here for example that stroke and I want to delete it or erase it it's not going to damage the the background that we have so i'm going to clean i'm going to do those those two last strokes so what we have here it's that crack art has or the texture painting tool has two layers one is the background which we can't paint and the other one is the the canvas where it, that is where we paint Now let's paint the eyes. I'm gonna change the opacity of the whole canvas layer. So as you can see here, I'm just working with a different opacity for this side, say for this one. this and now let's use a blur to blend these two layers together So we can, for example, change the multiply, change the blending mode. See how it looks, or we can change the opacity. Let's leave it like that. And now I'm gonna merge these to the canvas and background, so I can paint the pupils without damaging the what I have already done. I'm going to change the color to black ok, you already have the idea this is the texture painting tool in CrackCard please visit our website at crackcard.org or cineengine.org where you can download CrackCard's latest version or other video tutorials thank you for watching